What's up everyone, welcome to another camera comparison video. Today I have this Xiaomi Mi 11 and iPhone 12. Okay, before I start the camera comparison video, I have found that sometimes people ask me where is your smartphone, whether do you have it or not. I have been doing camera comparison for almost a year now and I don't think that before every video I have to show my smartphone. I know there are a lot of people making fake camera comparison videos. My request is please go ahead, report those videos and dislike those videos and please support original true content. Okay, without talking too much, let's start our camera comparison video. Okay, today we are going to be doing a camera comparison between iPhone 12 and Xiaomi Mi 11. Please listen carefully which microphone is working better. Check carefully in which video I'm looking better, I'm looking handsome prettier in which video there are more details which video i think the color of me 11 is better it's a true to life please watch through this video i have already shown that this is not a fake video i have all the smartphones and if you end up liking this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel let's flip to rear cameras Let's start with bokeh photos cause this is the most interesting part of this comparison. Both of these two depends on the main sensor for portrait photos as there is no telephoto lens. When I compare portrait photos, I care about bokeh effect, edge detection, amount of textures processed in the subject and the separation line blend. I always mention in my all camera comparison videos and yes, a lot depends on personal preference. This will be a preference thing for sure, it depends on what you prefer. Like Samara, the model in these pictures, feels she looks better in the images grabbed by iPhone 12. But I cannot agree that's the right choice. After checking a lot of portrait photos taken by these two smartphones, it is clear that there is a difference in white balance and tonal contrast. I am not surprised to see iPhone 12 slightly saturates the color and there is a warm tone. Usually iPhone is known for warm color temperature, but I am surprised to see iPhone color rendition is a bit far from reality. Cause it rendered colors with different tonal contrast and color curve, which indeed made skin tone and the background look a bit attractive than Mi 11. But if you check carefully, the color of the clothes is different and images grabbed with Mi 11 actually represents true to life color tone. Edge detection, edge cutout and separation line blend performance randomly jumps back and forth but Mi 11 is a bit ahead. We don't have to crop in and check, Mi 11 actually has more details, processed more textures and portrays reality. Sky color in the photos produced by iPhone 12 is unreal for a cold and misty midwinter day and it is truly oversaturated. If Mi 11 dominated daytime outdoor portraits, then iPhone 12 dominated nighttime portrait photos with almost perfect exposure and highlights. It is unclear why Mi 11 failed under low light on nighttime portrait, cause Mi 10 Ultra produces very good nighttime portrait photos. Yeah, Mi 10 Ultra and Mi 11 comes with different main sensors, but what hurts Mi 11 is its algorithm. Xiaomi Mi 11 chose to increase highlight and tuned for higher contrast ratio, which under very low light condition hurts the whole image. And skin smoothing beauty effect of Xiaomi Mi 11 makes things worse. This makes images a bit soft and loses textures in the process. This is really difficult to judge cause both have some negative points. And after considering my preferences, I would like to go with Mi 11 for daytime portraits and iPhone 12 for low light or nighttime portraits. The first thing you'd notice in ultra wide photos is field of view. FOV is wider on iPhone 12 and then you'd notice that no matter whether outdoor or indoor, iPhone 12 kept the trend of warm tone. Colors are a bit saturated and iPhone 12 rendered sky color with artificial tone. On the other hand, Mi 11 like its predecessors, I mean like Mi 10T Pro or Mi 10 Pro kept the trend of overexposure in ultra-wide photos. iPhone 12 actually is not like other flagships in my previous camera comparison. iPhone 12 almost beaten Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra and here it clearly beaten Xiaomi Mi 11. There are a few differences like white balance and saturation, skin tone in different lighting condition changes randomly, details and textures jumps back and forth, 
Sometimes iPhone 12 and sometimes Mi 11 manage to process more details. Considering the price of Mi 11, I would say Mi 11 ultra wide performance is good enough, but not as good as what Xiaomi fans expected. Okay, you may have been waiting for this. Comparison between photos taken with the main sensors of these two smartphones. All of these pictures were taken on auto mode with AI enabled and auto HDR. Of course, both of these two smartphones have pro modes. So if you have the time to dial in and switch between options to get a pro shot of your choice, then you can. But most of the general users uses the auto mode and I feel like this represents true pros and cons of the smartphones. 12 megapixel sensor of iPhone 12 versus 108 megapixel sensor on Mi 11. Actually, the numbers didn't reflect in performance. The main difference is in white balance and before you make any judgment, iPhone 12 color temperature is actually a bit warm but not too much like before. It's almost on the perfect line. iPhone 12 rendered colors with a bit saturation which makes things punchier and lucrative and along with good exposure, the whole image stands out. It's more like social media ready. Xiaomi Mi 11, like any other Xiaomi smartphones, failed to detect well-lit areas and failed to manage exposure with contrast ratio. And that hurts the whole image. Also, I have found that Mi 11 white balance is a bit unusual. It doesn't look attractive even if color grading is better. I mean, check clothing of Samara. It has more details and looks as it is in real life. But skin tone took a nose dive and most of the people wouldn't like this skin tone. Also, the background is a bit pale too. Now, the most important part for me is details and shadows. Cause after taking a picture, if you wanna do some editing, you cannot add details. In terms of details, Mi 11 is of course a bit ahead. It even processed more textures with sharpness and side by side, iPhone 12 photo rather looks a bit soft. Once again, a lot depends on personal preference and I would like to know what do you think. Please leave a comment and let me know what's your preference. This is different, these are night mode photos and before you do any judgement, yes, there was a harsh halogen light blazing on the model. I have intentionally chosen this place. A few days ago Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro actually did far better but to my surprise, Mi 11 totally failed. Yes, I have tried a few times and the results are the same. When we crop in, we can see there is a big big difference iPhone 12 actually processed more textures, whole image is sharper with more details in the shadows. In night mode photos, two things are very important. First, noise removing algorithm which worked perfectly on both iPhone 12 and Mi 11. With long exposure and better aperture, both reproduced true to life sky color without noise and grains. And number two, identifying well lit areas, which Xiaomi Mi 11 failed like any other Xiaomi devices and that hurts exposure. Overall, I think it's clear that iPhone 12 nighttime photos are better than Xiaomi Mi 11. I know, a lot of you may not agree with this and yes, I totally respect your preference. Moving on to selfie camera and there is a drastic difference in performance. iPhone 12 continued to produce photos with more details and textures, while Xiaomi Mi 11 applied heavy, skin smoothing beauty effect. Color rendition and skin tone is also better on iPhone 12. In low light or harsh lighting condition, iPhone 12 selfie images are really good. Compared to Mi 11, it has wider dynamic range and more details. Only thing hurts iPhone 12 selfie photos is its white balance. These are selfie portraits and white balance issue just got bigger on iPhone 12. I'm not very happy to see how both of these two flagship smartphones performs. I believe Xiaomi will fix all the tiny issues with new updates, but for now, in terms of edge detection, separation line blend and details, both are pretty similar. But once again, iPhone 12 has a bit better bokeh effect and Mi 11 offers a bit better edge detection. Okay, these clips were recorded at 4K 60 frames per second. I think iPhone 12 produced this video with better white balance. In terms of details, sharpness and color rendition, I would once again choose iPhone 12. What do you think? Do you agree? Check how frequently exposure and white balance got changed in the clip recorded with Mi 11. Also, I was intentionally checking the smartphones to check stability and Mi 11 totally failed to add any stabilization. 
if you don't know yet then yes both iphone 12 and mi 11 got ois on main sensor and offers a very good stabilization while recording at 1080p 30 frames per second dynamic range is better on iphone 12 not only that skin tone is close to reality and colors are vibrant and true to life on the other hand, Mi 11 color tone is a bit pale, exposure and contrast ratio is not as good as iPhone 12. Yes, I agree, iPhone 12 continued with its warm color tone and in certain conditions, it's not lucrative. But after checking details and highlights, Mi 11 is a no match for iPhone 12 in videography. Okay, it's time to wrap up and the truth is, Mi 11 did great but not as good as iPhone 12 in all the segments. Please make a comment and let me know what do you think. Also, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel.